Hello, my YouTube family. It is Thursday, July 11th. Very close to my birthday. My birthday's Saturday, people, just in case y'all want to know. July 13th. Yeah, that's me. July 11th, 2013. <laughs> did I promise color or did I promise color? Yes, I know I said I was doing glosses, but you know what? There's no rule. So, I threw on a lipstick and the liner. Th this is a perfect combination. This liner and this lipstick, I have worn them together before, and they are just a perfect match. Just a perfect match. Max Night Moth Lip Pencil Lined and filled with CoverGirl, this is a Lip Perfection, this is what the Lip Perfection cases look like, in the color 335 Embrace, 335 Embrace, one of my favorite fall collection, well, fall shades, but I don't care that it's not fall, I wanted to wear this, and I wore it well. This is Embrace, people. One of my all-time favorites. Oh my God! Look at look at this puppy. Look at this puppy, and you can see I've been using it. Hello. Love this. This is. It's a berry mixed with a purple, and then it's got a blue undertone. Oh my sweet Jesus! Do you see that? Do you see that? Embrace people. Cover girl lip perfection. Love it. I, I just I just I just adore this shade. This shade. This has got to be my all-time favorite cover girl lip perfection lipstick. Out of all the ones that I have. This is up there. I think this is this is the topper. This is this is no, numero uno. So there you have it. This is embrace. Look at the shade, people. Just take a look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. So it is Thursday. Four down. One more to go, people. One more to go. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um. I am wearing a blush that is so beyond pan. I don't know why I just don't throw it this way. Look at this. Like, I could use this as a mirror. I mean, come on now. But I refuse to throw it away. It's a Jane Blushing Cheeks in the color Blushing Wine. I don't think you'll be able to see that. It's too small. Blushing Wine. And it just gives you like a just a so oh so natural soft flush. I love Jane che Blushing Cheeks blushes. Love them. But they just don't last that much. Because before you know it, you hit in pan and it's like should I throw it away? I mean, there's still, there's still some around the edges, man. So, okay. Here's a question I'm going to, to, to pose to you. How soon do you throw your stuff away when you hit pan? Like, some people, like the second they hit pan, they, they toss it, even though they still have around the edges. Now, I still have around the edges. If you were me, no, better yet, if you're you, and you have a blush like this, or, you know, yeah, a blush, let's just say a blush like this, do you say, well, it's about time you toss it, or do you continue to just use the edges until like it really is nothing but pan. Let me know, cause some people. I would like to know how soon you throw things away when you hit pan. Cause some people like the second they hit pan, it's like, oh, I gotta go, bye. But I'm one of those hangers on that I just I can't let this go. I can't let this go. And look at it. Like this is pan, people. Hello. So let me know so we can have a little discussion about that because 
you know me. I hang on to stuff. Hang on to stuff, honey. Unless it's La Garbaggio. And technically, I suppose this should be La Garbaggio by now, but mm, I like it too much. And I do have other Jane blushes, but this this, this color is it's not one of my favorites because Baby Blossom Baby or Baby Blossom, something with the baby in there is my favorite Jane's blush. But this one is Blushing Wine. And I just, I love Jane blushes because they just give you nice, a, a nice natural, they don't, mm, it's not like a NARS blush or, you know, something very potent. They just give you a nice, soft, mm, just a nice, soft, powdery look. It's beautiful. I love Jane blushes. And they're, they're dirt cheap. They're like $2.99 or something. Can't go wrong. But this is not a blush video. This is a lips video, lip of the day video. And uh, this is it, people. This is the look. You know who's underneath the bed, right? Just letting y'all know. Yesterday, <laughs> he, he was crazy yesterday. I don't know what, I don't know what, what's up with this cat. But I started to play with him with one of his favorite toys. One of those little, you know, those little feathery things that you, well, he doesn't come out to play with me. So I have to go under the bed and play with him there. It is, I, I know which one is his favorite. You would think the one with the catnip is his favorite. No, this one, it's got like a little mousy looking thing at the end with the feathers. It's the feathers that drive him nuts. So last night, before it was time for me to go watch my television shows, I spent a good half hour, 45 minutes with him lying on the floor, okay? Tossing this thing back and forth underneath the bed. And he's playing around with it and he's just he's just losing his mind. So when it was time for me to go, and well, he kind of pretty much said, okay, I'm done. I don't want to play with you no more. I was like, oh, okay, well, this is perfect timing because I've got to go watch my TV show. So I put it outside where, where his other stuff is. And I ordered some more stuff for him. They, they came today. I, didn't, I haven't opened them up yet. Everything that's coming is for him. Spoiling this cat. Rotten. Well, anyway, back to this little fishy thing. At around, you know, the, his prowling hour, 9 30, 10 o'clock, I come in, I do my little onlining stuff, and, you know, I'm just checking my Facebook and doing all of that, and checking some videos and stuff like that. And I hear, because it does have a little bell, I hear, bring, 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 bring. I'm like, what the hell is he doing? So I just peek outside. He is going nuts. Because I think it has catnip in it. But the other one, because I have two little fishing pole game thingies. The one the, with the butterfly with the wings. The wings have the catnip. He don't want nothing to have to do with this one. This one, the catnip is inside the little mousy thing with the, with the feathers. He went crazy. I'm looking at him like, oh, this cat is possessed. All of a sudden, I don't know what to do with this cat. After a while, he stopped. He exercised himself. I didn't have to do anything. He exercised himself. He was so dead tired, he was panting. I looked at him like, for real? You know, normally they say you, can, you should play with your cat before it's time for them to go to sleep, tire them out, and then, well, that's, that's a Jackson Galaxy rule. Love me some Jackson Galaxy, honey. And he usually says, you know, if you if you if you have a very energetic cat, play with him with that little bird thing. Let them jump around, let them run around, tire them out. And then when they are panting, that means I can't take it no more. He did that his own damn self. Like I didn't even have to play with him. I'm like, this is a this this is a self-sufficient cat. He's self-sufficient. He don't need me. Well, except to feed him and put some water in his bowl. He don't want me to touch him. He cleans himself regularly. Knows where the litter box is. Has never made a mistake. Like, he knows that he's home now. So he just, you know, goes by. He tired himself out. It was the funniest thing. I'm, the, I'm looking at this and he is tearing that thing apart. But not really tearing at it. He's just, he's playing with it. 
but played with it with such a verve and such energy that I, I don't think I have ever seen him tire himself out like that. He literally tired himself out. Gone. And then when it was time for me to go to sleep, because I went to sleep at around 12, I think he said, yeah, I think I'm going to follow you, because he just went right under the bed. I heard him, you know, go under the bed and then walk out and do whatever he needed to do. He was playing with the ball, the yellow and red, red ball I was telling you about with the bell. Because each bell has a different sound. So I know which one, which game he's playing with or which toy. The little fishy thing with the pole that he was going crazy over has a little light sound. The ball with the bell inside has a louder sound. So I know, okay, he's going crazy over that one. Then he has his corn husk ball, which I think he's playing games with me because now it's this thing where he'll play with it, play with it, play with it, and he'll throw it down the stairs. And then in the morning, as I'm going down the stairs, I see it and I, I toss it back up. And then when I come home, it's at the stairs again. I'm like, oh, this is a game now? This is, he doesn't want to play with me, but just as long as I take care of, you know, bring the ball back, I am a slave to this cat. Dana, you said that this would happen. I would be a slave to the cat, and I think that's what I think that's what's happening. So I don't know if he's going to take to the new toys. He's going to have to break them in because it took him a while. I, at first, I really thought he didn't like that little fishy thing because he would sniff at it and he would eh, he would toss it, and the butterfly one was a complete disaster. That was an epic fail because he didn't want to have anything to do with that. And I'm thinking, I done good with this one because catnip, it would drive him crazy. He smacked at it a few times and he's like, yeah, I'm done. So I was like, okay. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, he picked up on this one with the, the, the mouse with the feathers. It's the feathers. I've noticed he likes things with feathers. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff balls with feathers and things and bells and that's enough I, you know everything that I bought for him is slowly coming in and that's it I'm I'm, I'm done because before you know it I won't be able to walk through the hallway because it's, it's covered with his stuff so um yeah I hope he does the same thing tonight and tires his ass out maybe if I play with him under the bed again I think that's what did it. That's what re-energized his interest in it to, to go crazy last night. Because I was playing with him with it. And he was going nuts under the bed when I was, you know. Thankfully, the bed is high enough and he's small enough where he can actually roll and he could do like this. And, and he's so cute. He's so cute when he does this. He looks like a kitten. Well, he's only one years old, so... He's not he's technically not a kitten. Technically he is a full adult. He's he's a year and a month old. So he's you know, once they hit the one year old, that they they're, they're considered adults. So but he's he's still he's so small and he's just so he's not a big cat and he never will be a big cat, which I absolutely adore because if you look back, I did say I got my wish. I did say I want a small, quiet cat. Well, I didn't want it so quiet that he doesn't meow. I didn't want it that quiet. But I got what I wanted. A small, quiet cat. And I adore him. He's the love of my life. Better than a man, honey. Well, to a certain extent. We'll move on. I just adore him. I just adore him. I just adore him. You hear that, Tom? I adore you. Nothing. Anyway, that, that's really the update. It's not really an update, but it's just a little story about last night's shenanigans with this cat. He just went, he just went crazy. Maybe, I don't know what it was. Maybe it's the different type of cat in that particular toy. That's why he loves it so much. But um, yeah, so that's that. I changed his dry food and I've noticed, this is, I tried an experiment. I leave the dry food out all day. Before, I used to leave the wet and the dry food, and he just would not touch the wet food at all. So now I take back the wet food. And at night, at night is when he eats the, the wet food. 
So I put it in the refrigerator, and then right before I go to sleep, I take it out, put a little water in it, get it nice and moist. And sometimes I'll see him going down, and I hear, and I'm like, oh, that's the wet food. When I hear crunch, 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 I know that's the dry food. But I heard him lapping up the wet food, and I also heard him slurping on the water. So it's like, oh, okay, so he doesn't want it in the daytime. He'll stick with the dry food in the daytime, and he'll have a variety of whatever he wants at night. Apparently, the wet food is what he wants at night. Trial and error, honey, just like a relationship. Trial and error. Well, it is, you know, it is a relationship. We're still learning about each other. It's still less than a month that we are getting to know each other. J July 27th will be a full month. So, it is what it is, people. It is what it is. So I'm having fun. As you can tell, I, I enjoy being a cat mom. I love being a cat mom, people. I just, I, I, I've I missed out on being a cat mom. Better late than never, as they say, but I can get used to getting to this cat mom thing. And the fact that we're going to grow old together, well, I'm already there. But, you know, he will eventually, hopefully, you know, learn to love me as I'm getting older. 49 people. I'm not happy. But I'm happy to be breathing. I'm happy to still have a pulse. So, yeah, I'm lucky. 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 And on that note, people, that is lips of the day. That's your little Tomcat update. I don't even think I'm going to write this one up in Facebook because there really isn't much to say. I like when a big stride. You know, when he comes close to me or when he touches me or when he lets me pet him. That's a big thing for me. So that's when I write the Facebook update. But this, him just going crazy, I'll share it with you guys. No big deal. I'm sure you guys who have pets, especially you, Dana. Dana has been my hand-holding friend. You know you have on Facebook and on the YT. Big time. Big time. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Y'all know about the whole when cats go crazy thing. This is, like I said, this is all new to me. This could be, you know, you could look at your cat doing the exact same thing that he did and just go, yeah, that's him doing that again. For me, it was like, what in the hell is going on? So everything is new. So I am, I hope you're looking at me through fresh eyes of looking at your own cat. Because this is all new to me. This is like a whole new world. So, yeah, <laughs> I, I am enjoying the ride. Don't get me wrong. I am enjoying the ride. I love this cat so much. If only he would allow me to hold him and show him how much. Maybe in time, hopefully, hopefully. But I did read something heartbreaking. I think I told you about this already. There are some cats out there who never will be lap cats. So he may be one of those cats that never will, you know, want to snuggle next to me, want to be on my lap, want me to pet him. He'll, he'll just be a cat that's, you know, keeping me company. He may meow eventually. I don't know. But he could be one of those cats that aren't, that isn't considered a lap cat. And I did not know that there was no such thing. I thought all cats liked to, you know, once they got used to their human, they would just want to jump on their lap and walk all over and, you know, just be a pain which I'm praying that he would like to be a pain. Because I want to, to eventually do a video later on, I'm sure. I want him walking on the bed so you can see him in the background walking in front of me. Like, see? Do you see what I'm talking about? I would love for him to get to that point. Will he ever? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. It's still early in the game. Like I said, it's still early in the game. But, you know, with his background and with his trauma, I'm thinking he's still traumatized. It's going to take a very, very long time. So I know I'm talking about a cat that you have never seen, but I have shown you, if you've seen my Facebook page, y'all know that that's my cat. So those of you that aren't on my Facebook page, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to show you. If you want my Facebook page, PM me, and we can become Facebook buddies. Then you could read all my Tomcat updates, and then you could see, because my profile picture is Tom. 
my profile picture on Facebook is Tom. So there you could get a, you know, get a look at what Tom looks like. And that's it, people. That is it. This is Lips of the Day. Hello. Mm. I hope you love it too. I finally put some color like I promised. See, I keep my promises. And uh, there you have it. And that is it. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of Tom and what he's going on. And <laughs> let me know if there's anything else to expect because it's not like he's freaking me out. I enjoy all of these things, but I never expected him to go absolutely crazy with that particular toy. I'm glad he loves it. I'm going to play with him in a few minutes. As I'm uploading this, I'm going to go on the floor. I'm going to change into my summer comfy cozies. And I'm going to go on the floor and play with him under the bed. Let him work himself up to a frenzy. Then he'll be tired again and go to sleep. Hey, he's been sleeping all day, probably. So, Although Pop says that he does hear him. Pop said, because Pop is the one that brought up stu the, the stuff that I bought for him, all these UPS packages. Pop is the one that brought up the stairs, and he said as soon as he opened the door, he ran up, up the stairs and ran away. But Pop got to see him, at least. And he says that from downstairs, when, when Tom jumps off of something, he lands very heavy on his paws. So Pop can hear him when he's playing. Obviously, he doesn't stay under the bed all day. He does get out, and he plays with his toys, and he's jumping all around, which is fine, which is fantastic. I love him to do that. So this is a good thing. Okay, I keep saying goodbye, but I'm not saying goodbye. Okay, I'm saying goodbye now. Hit me up, let me know what you think, and I will definitely talk to you tomorrow. Okay? I did say Pop brought up the stuff. He brought up the stuff. He gone. He went to work. I was hoping that he wouldn't go to work. He went to work. So, there you have it. Okay, on that note, here we are. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Actually, oh, I'm glad I remembered. I may not talk to you tomorrow because after work, I've got a cousin's outing to go to. My cousin Tracy, she came up from Florida to spend some time with her New York family, and we are going to get together, her and her brother and myself are going to see, we're going out to dinner and a movie. Now, hmm, Eric, who chose a pitiful movie two years ago, Cowboys and Aliens, sad. He chose this movie again. This one is um, The Lone Ranger. I have heard such god-awful reviews about this movie. I told him, I said, um, you may want to read the reviews. He's yet to answer me back, so we shall see. He may have to apologize like he did when we went to see Cowboys and Aliens. After the movie was over, he looked at me and Tracy, Tracy is his sister, and he said, I would like to apologize <laughs> for picking this pitiful movie. I'm like, yeah, you need to, because that movie was sad. Hold on. Yeah, I'll be right there!